Hi guys, my name is Gio and I'm going to be teaching you how to graph a parabola. So, today the problem that we got, it's not a parabola in standard form, so we're going to be using the equation h equals negative b over 2a to be getting our x value. So the first thing you want to do while graphing a parabola is identify your a and b value. So, looking at this problem right here, fx equals negative 2x squared plus 4x, we're going to identify our a and b. Negative 2x squared is our a, 4x is our b. Using these two values, we're going to plug them in to our equation, or to um, our formula right here. So, we have h equals negative b, so negative 4, over 2 times our a value, which is negative 2. So this right here, negative 4, and then we all know 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So negative 4 over negative 4 equals 1. So h equals 1. Now, h is our x value, so once we have found our x value, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go plug it in to our original problem so that we can find the y. So, we're going to plug in h. So, f x equals negative 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1. We all know negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 4 equals, <clears throat> equals 2. So now we have just an fx stands for our y value. So we have found h, which equals negative 1, which is our x value. And we have found that fx, or y, equals negative 2. Or 2, excuse me. So once we have found our h and fx, we're going to go ahead and plug them in to this chart over here. As you can see, I already have. We have 1 and 2. Those are the two values that we just found. Once, now, once you have found these two values, on the x side, you can already put two, two other values on either side of the 1. That way you can start graphing. So you're going to have 1, 0, negative 1. 2, and 3. You can't do the same for the y. The way you're going to find these values for your y, are you going to take your values for your x, and you're going to plug them back into your original problem. So, as you can see, what I did down here was we had 0 as one of the values. So we do fx equals negative 2 times the 0 plus 4 times the 0. And that equals 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. So you can see all that we're really doing is just taking our x values, plugging them back into the original equation so that we can find our y values, so that we can graph the parabola. So, so on and so forth. We took 0, we did 0, and now we're doing negative 1. fx equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times negative 1 equals 2 minus 4, which equals negative 2. So, like I said, all we are really doing is taking our x values, plugging them back into our original problem to get our y values. It's really simple. So, and for 2 and 3, it's the same thing. You just take them, you plug them into this, and you're going to get that. If you get 0 and negative 2 over here, you're going to get the same thing over here. So now, um, all you really have to do now is just graph your uh, results. So 1 and 2, over 1, up 2. You have 0 and 0. You have negative 1 and negative 2, so negative 1 and then down 2. You have 2 and 0, so over 2, 
right there, and you have 3 in negative 2. And negative 2. So now, we've, we're about to finish graphing our parabola. The only thing left is to draw it. We'll draw the line. There you go. Our parabola is graphed, and the axis of symmetry. Oh, one quick thing to add: the axis of symmetry, which is always going to be the line going down the middle, it's always going to be the first values that you found. It's always going to be the h that you first found, and it's always going to be the fx that you always found. So our axis of symmetry is going to lie on one and two. Those are the first points that we found. So, you just draw, here's our point, one and two. We're just going to draw it like that. Not the best drawing, but the axis of symmetry just divides your parabola. And that's how you graph a parabola that is not in standard form. Thanks, guys.